time with my wife and a brand new three month old baby. I also enjoy playing men's league hockey. Playing hockey in Las Vegas, I guess it's kind of odd. You think of the desert, you don't think of it being cold, but um, it's nice to get in there when it's 110 degrees outside, you get in there and it's 50 degrees. Um, here's a guy jaywalking, I'm gonna stop and talk to him and see what his deal is. Just stand in front of the car, please. You're jaywalking, sir. Control 7, um, Fremont 15th. Happy. My bad. You're bad, you're lucky that I was paying attention. Sorry, sir. Don't, we don't shake hands. You got ID on you? At my house, but I'm- Where do you live in? Motel. Motel, okay. I'm gonna talk to my dad about this. No, who's that? He lives at the motel. With me. So what's this, what's the deal with this guy? He was trying to panhandle from me earlier. Okay, so you were trying to get trying away to from him? I avoid him, yeah. But you jaywalked to get to the same side of the street as him? No, I was trying to get through here so I can go through the alleyway to the store. Okay. Go get a hot dog All with right. my dad. Okay. And he cost me, asking me for 50 cents. And he's waiting for this, this 50 cents, which I'm not gonna give him. Okay. All right, what's your first name? Daniel. Have you been arrested for anything? No, I haven't. Have you been ticketed for anything? No. Never in your life? Never. Where are you working? I'm trying to get a job right now. Have you ever had a work card? Are you, I mean, an ID, you know, sheriff's card or anything? No, never held one. How about a Nevada ID? I had a California ID, but when I moved from my old apartment... What ID do you have in your apartment right now? I'm just trying to get you... Okay, so you... line up my ID. But you did have a California ID? Yes, but I lost that moving here. That's fine. What's the address on there? It's been such a long time since I lived there. It's probably faded memory. What city was that California ID in? San Bernardino. Right. You don't know the street, though? No, it's been a long time. Very long time. Right now, California DMV doesn't say that that person had a California license. Officer, can you just let me off a warning, please? I'd really appreciate it. I don't even know who you are. You could be a murderer. No, ask my dad. Go and ask my dad. Are you his dad? There. No. All right. No. I, I, I can't ask another person. Would you? That's not a valid form of ID. Can you run one for once and prior, please? First name, Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L. He's a white male. Um, he has no ID. He says he has a uh, California ID. Officer, this is my father. Hold on. This is my father. Go away. No, no, no. No. All right. Hold on. I'll have to call you back, apparently. Dad. Please handle this. You don't talk to him hey, that way. Hey, leave. No. You don't talk to him that way, God. Control 3, Charlie. 7, Charlie, 45. I have a foot pursuit. He's going southbound 14. Okay, okay, okay. Get on your knees right now. Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Control 7, Charlie, 45. I'm code 4. He's in custody. Get on your face. Good morning. Make sure my... Cross your feet or your ankles. Bring it to your rear. Bring your ankles to your rear, your butt. There we go. Do not move, do you understand? Do you understand? Yes. I apologize, officer, okay? Ah. Officer, I apologize for this, I really do, okay? Okay, these are a little tight. Stand up. Go back to the car. What's your real name? I told you my real name. What are you running I for? I brought my dad over here to tell you the truth on that. Stand in front of the car and spread your feet. Spread your feet. What's your real name? I told you my real name. So you told me your real name, but you run away for jaywalking? My mistake. Your My mistake? My mistake. My stupid, messed up mistake. Here comes my mother now. Mom! Hi! You like my jewelry? She'll tell you who exactly who I am. Control 7, Charlie 45, I'm code 4. Can I have another unit, please? Go and talk to him about this. I'd really appreciate it. Hey! Get in front of the car. I'm going to see what's going on. 
745. Get in front of the... I'm at Fremont 14th. I'm his mother. Okay. Please leave. I don't have anyone Well, there's a... Hey, you see that guy with the white hair? That's this guy's father. He keeps calling him back. Please let that man know that he's going to be... He's going to go to jail for obstructing also. I've just told him. He seems to want to call Bucky the lawyer. He's going to go to jail? No, this guy's going to jail because he ran from me now, too. Running for? Trying to get my mother to actually get you to believe me on this. That that's your name? Yes, my name, my information, everything. So you wanted to run to your mother to have her tell me that that was who you really were? I felt it was a viable solution, but I guess it wasn't. What do you want to do with your hot dog? It can't go into jail. That was my father's. Right here. Here. Put your palms together, man. You really can't, huh? Yeah. A little bit. Okay. Well, they're handcuffs. You're not supposed to be made comfortable, so have a seat, man. So we're having trouble identifying that? Having trouble is? identifying who he is. Okay. It would have been an easy citation for jaywalking, but he wanted to run and pretend he's someone else. So now we have to take him down there and fingerprint him, and he gets to go to jail. You have a higher criminal element that's out at nighttime. After about midnight, you have people that are going to and from late night work. There's a lot of people that are out here that are uh, trying to take advantage of the darkness. Um, you know, criminals don't have set schedules. And it's easier to come out here and blend in at night than it is in the daytime. 422 or so. Hey, we're gonna stop this car here in front of us. He has an expired tag. Uh, uh. Taking a sweet time. 400. Norfolk 76. Bravo zero one. How you doing? How you doing Driver's license and vehicle registration? I just got an ID. Yeah, what's wrong with your driver's license? Hmm? What's wrong with your driver's license? Well, it's suspended. Yeah? For I littering? Know. Excuse me? For littering? No, I'm sorry. Okay. You might want to step that out. I own the restaurant. Yeah? You have your vehicle registration? No, it's just the car from uh, a friend of mine. You know Jump? No, sir, I don't. He was, he used to own the Lucio's. He was, uh, he was an ex-Martin County Sheriff. Mm -hmm. my, my mom picked up my daughter today, and uh, she wanted me to meet her halfway. Okay, what's your I'm license suspended for? Driving. You're not supposed to be driving, but All what's right. it suspended for? It's for speeding tickets. All right. Why is your tag expired? Like I said, we just bought the car, and uh, you know we're trying to get it registered. It's been a, it's been crazy. Okay, let me see whatever registration you have. You ever been arrested before? Yeah, a long time ago. For what? Down here when I first got to Florida for uh, driving without a license. Okay, give me a favor. Step out here for me real quick. Sure. I'm gonna leave this right here on your dash. You have any guns or knives on you? No, no. no. Turn around for me real quick. I'm gonna pat you down. Let me ask you, is there anything in the vehicle I should know about? Guns, knives? Uh, right. No drugs, nothing. No drugs or anything? No. I'm going to take a quick look. If I find something you don't tell me about, we're going to have problems. Do me a favor, hang out right in front of my car. Okay. Deal is currently suspended. Suspended twice last year. Don't pay traffic fine. Suspended indefinitely. Yeah, I'm just checking this car out. His license is suspended. See, he's... Uh, Got pieces of what looks like chore board pads all over his seat here. They commonly use those in uh, crack pipes. So I'm gonna see if he's got anything else in here that he's not telling us about. Like a crack pipe. Okay. Vito. Let me ask you a question. You're saying that uh, there's nothing in the car. No. When was the last time you used crack? I don't use crack, sir. So. Now, how long you had this car? About two months. It's been in my driveway. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, on the seat, on the driver's seat, there's pieces of chore boy. That's, listen to me, I have this. You could search me down, there's no drugs, I have nothing. I have nothing on me at all, sir. Pigs crack? 
15 years ago <laughs> in New York. Uh, I don't have anything. I don't do that anymore. Right next I, to the driver's I, seat is I, a crack pipe. I, sir, that's not mine. Who else would it be? My wife and I have been using it to go back and forth to work. Open your mouth. Pick your tongue up. Put your head down and pick your tongue up. Head down? Head down. Look straight this way. Okay. Open your mouth. Pick your tongue up. Move your lips, your gums. Move it like this. All right. Step forward again. Do me a favor. Just empty your pockets on the hood there. Sure. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Brad, were you watching for just a minute? And he's got the beginnings of a felony forest kicking in here. Nice cold pizza. Well, there's his crack. He's got two pieces of crack here on the seat underneath this stuff. We'll just see what he has to say about it. Vito, you used to smoke coke, right? Oh, yeah. Did you ever just leave your rocks laying around or what? That, what is that? That is not, well, you test that. Eh? I'm about to test it. Go ahead. Right. I appreciate your permission. I'm gonna do that. You know what blue means, Vito? No, sir. Means it's positive for cocaine. Look blue to you? Yeah, it looks blue to me. So now what do you got to say? It's not mine. Okay, you bought the car two months ago. Yeah. Somebody that uses cocaine is not going to leave her cocaine in a car that they're selling. All right, that was your mother that was in the car with you earlier, so is that her cocaine? Yeah. If it's, it's not. not your mother's, whose is it? It's not mine, sir. In fact, it says I just bought the car. I, I own the restaurant. I don't, I don't, I don't do any of that. Okay, we're not talking about the restaurant. Okay. We're talking about that cocaine being on the seat of that car that you're driving, that you own, that you said your mother was sitting in the passenger seat. I didn't say my mother was sitting in the passenger seat. You said your mother, you dropped your I mother had, off. I had to meet my mom. To you took her, off. you dropped who off? My daughter off. Your daughter? Yeah. Okay, well maybe I misunderstood you. So is that your daughter's cocaine? No, my daughter's six you? years old. So if it's not your six year old, whose is it? I have no idea, so somebody else just goes and buys them and leaves them in your car? No, maybe they were there. The car hasn't been cleaned in months. It's been sitting in my driveway. As a former user, you're telling me that you wouldn't see that and know what it is? Me? That little piece of it? No, I would not. The only thing that was on your seats is when I dumped them out was your cigarette packs. Yeah, so? So turn around, put your hands behind your back, you're in arrest for possession of cocaine. You can tell me whatever you want to tell me, but the coke's in your car. You're a former addict. You can't tell me you didn't know it was there. I'm, I'm not going to believe that. If you think a jury of your peers is going to believe that, we'll see each other in court and see how it works out. I always wanted to be a cop when I was growing up. So uh, when I was 17, I was too young. I figured I'd join the military just to get some experience. And I spent four years in the military, got deployed to Afghanistan. And uh, you come back over here and it makes you appreciate the system we do have. And uh, I applied and got hired on here in uh, Fontana, and it's been good ever since. All right, we're going to go talk to these people right here. It's a domestic. I'm not sure what's going on, but supposedly he's beating her out here in the street. So. What's going on today? Um, well... I was at my friend's house. You look like you're out of breath. You want to have a seat for a sec? Yeah. Just relax. Good. You were at a friend's house, what happened? And she got mad at me. She got mad at you? For talking to her boyfriend. Her man's. <laughs> but it was more like, <laughs> it was more like I was uh, That's from good. talking to him and he was like telling me that he like really cares about her. Mm -hmm. And while we were talking, she walked upstairs and got mad. It's going to be clear, Kurt, that he and then Ford, coming back to they got into it. it. They got into a fight? Yeah, and then I just told her, okay, well, I'll just leave. Because she was mad at me, too. Oh, really? So, How do you know them? Um, I know, I've know i known her from high school. High school? How old are you? Um, 19. 19? Okay. You want to walk over here and we'll go talk to the rest of them? I just want to find out what's going on before we cut you loose, if you don't mind. So... What's going on? Why are you guys oh, arguing? Dude's arguing, got into an argument. My girlfriend, she was by the stairs. 
And then we were upstairs, so she misinterpreted what we were talking about. She, I guess she thought I was talking about, like, another girl or anything or something. Gotcha. But, you know, she misinterpreted and got upset, and then, you know, we just started arguing when I came in contact with her. What were you talking to her about? Just oh, me and her? Yeah. Oh, we were just talking about, like, just different scenarios with boys and girls and stuff. It wasn't nothing for her to get mad about, but since she misinterpreted everything, like, you know, really couldn't say too much about that. And then how'd your face get all scratched up? She scratched me. She did. But everything's all right, though. We'll be right back with you, okay? Hey, what's your name now? Bianca. Bianca, how are you doing today? Good. You got some marks on you? Scratches, stuff? It's your hands. What happened today? I forgot how it really started. How'd you scratch his face up? I don't even know. You don't know? I really don't even know. How do you get scratched up? I don't really get scratched. I don't know whether I did against the wall or what. How long you guys? For like over a year. Over a year? Cool, cool. So all this was over him talking to her? Did you get no. jealous or what? No, 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 and he's been acting up all day. How's he been acting up? Just act, you know, young kids act a plump fool. <laughs> uh, you know, maybe trying to act all hard. You know, just boys, just in general. Just in general? Mm-hmm. So, what, really. what, I'm confused on what y'all are fighting over then. Because I'm angry and I was on my period and that's what happened. See, <laughs> girls, when they're on their period, let me guys tell you, when you're on your period, girls blow things out of proportion because their hormones are raging. You blew it out of proportion then? Yeah, but... Were you jealous of them talking or...? No, that's my best friend. It's just a, so don't come. He was just been all day just irritating, irritating, irritating. Mm -hmm. And so I just finally exploded. Finally exploded? Anything else he did? I mean, I don't understand how you got scratched up. Did you smack him or just grab him or what? Smack him. You smack him? But you know when you have nails. Yeah. Girls, but... You ain't got much nails. Not really, You huh? gotta do some digging. I didn't do no digging. It's a scratch. Yes, yeah, it's just a scratch. Okay. What's going on, you guys? If you want to talk to him real quick, ma'am, we'll explain. To, he'll explain to you what's going on. No, I'm talking to my child. I know, I understand. She's 19, ma'am. So. But she came out of me. Okay, listen, listen. She Calm down. Happened. Calm down. Hold come on. here. Let me talk Go to her. Go sit up over there. She okay. came out of me. Come here, come here, come here. Relax, relax. But she came out of me. Right, so relax, relax. Be nice. I am. Relax, relax. I'm not going to Okay, come here. You're going to have to listen. What are your injuries? Do you have a hand? You're yeah, she's got a scratch, scratch on her hand. What else? Just that. Just that? You got anything else? What about your neck? Nothing. You got a red mark yeah, right you got there. Two red marks. I'm Indian. If I don't like that, it's going to turn. You got another one right here, too. Oh, well, then I don't know. Yeah. What, what else? What happened to those? It was a struggle, but it wasn't a full, um, a full pledge was like it? they made it to seem like, you know? Right, right. So that's what I'm saying. Okay. But you guys were all fighting, though. Not fighting. No fist on. No, no fist like on? Just scratching each other? No, probably him trying to grab me. Like, you know how people grab you and bear hug you to stop? Yeah. And that was about it. And you were trying to get away from them? So it wasn't... Yeah. Go, go sit down over there for just a minute, please. Thank you. Yeah. All right, well, obviously we've got a 243 one um, yeah. domestic Erica. battery, so I think we're up to 15 with her right, right just now. We already know what the uh, Okay. The laws in California state that the aggressor and one probably with most injuries uh, has to go to jail okay it's called domestic battery in the code section 243 e1 okay so do me a favor turn around okay put your hands on your back i'm a lady like that's who you are just relax i'll treat you like a lady as long as you act like a lady now that's better we're going to take some photographs of your injuries <coughs> and we're also going to take some photographs from his, his injuries and we'll go from there okay any questions good to go all right. Mom. No, no, no. It's not mom. What does that mean? Do you know how I am when I get on my period? Don't push me because I will act up. Okay, you don't but, push me and think I'm not going to hit you. Don't okay, do that. But, I mean, why did it have to escalate? I don't, I'm not understanding this. He would push me and I'm on my period. And you already know. But that's no justification. So that's no justification, Bianca. Is this a domestic violence? Yeah. Oh, yes. Because it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? It goes both ways. I'm, I'm going to have to go in front of the warden and explain why my daughter's getting locked up. It's ridiculous. It's totally ridiculous. And not thinking. And so this is what happens when people don't think. And now you're going to ruin your career? Listen for a change. You understand what your parents are telling you? They care about you, right? Huh? Good. You want to hug him? All right. Fast-paced lifestyle. People are very different, so it makes for interesting work every day.
Uh, going to a disturbance call at a fast food restaurant. Apparently, there's an individual inside the business causing a disturbance. So we're going to see if we can go in here and contact him and see what his problem is. 401, westbound lane, just east of Lowe's. Please go to Lowe's, do that energy. Yeah, dude. Right here, I want my phone, dude. I want my phone. Dude, I want my phone. Oh, dude. I want it. Here, calm phone. down. Calm I down. I want my phone. I got his arms. Hook him. What is my phone, dude? I came in here asked for my phone, dude. What is my phone, dude? What is my phone? What is my phone, dude? Nothing. Are you gonna be a problem, or are we gonna stand you up? No, no whatever, dude. All right. You know, ain't a problem, dude. Okay, later, right? I'm not a problem, dude. I'm not a problem, dude. All three. One, two, three. Can it help? Can you know, like, help pick me up, dude? I'm not a problem, dude. For no reason, dude. You can kiss my ass. You came in like that. You can kiss my ass, dude. I came in here asking for my phone, dude. All I wanted was my phone. We were just trying to talk to you, man, and no, you went all dude. crazy. No, dog, no, dude. Whatever, dude. You can kiss my ass, seriously. Okay. Kiss my ass. Thank you, dude. You did something, dude. You know? So talk about the car. All I wanted was my phone. My phone was in that company, dude. You got anything illegal on you that we didn't find? Any guns, knives, needles, anything like that? No, all I wanted was my phone, dude, when I was in Burger King, because my phone was in there. Okay. And now you're slamming in my face, dude. I got blood all over my face, dude. All I wanted was oh my, my phone. I catch a bus, dude. I come here. I bought food, dude. Oh, that's all I want is my phone. All I want is my phone. Man, how much you have to drink with that? Uh, maybe about three beers. Three beers? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was he bleeding? Did you yeah. see his face? Was he bleeding before? His face that? was bleeding before. I, I didn't, didn't see it in. until afterwards. Who hit you in the head, man? Uh, you got it. You was bleeding when you walked in the door. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You guys slammed me in the ground, Ed. You guys slammed me, dude. You guys are insane. We're not going to have any problems with medical, are we? They're going to come out and make sure you're okay, all right? Just make well, sure I that hope so, dude. You slam me in the ground for no reason. Okay. He, uh, he, he had a laceration on his face when we contacted him inside the Burger King. And then we, uh, we just... We no, just, dude, it was the Burger King. And then we just dog. took him to the ground, so... Mm, I guarantee that, dog. Him, you guys do want to slam me, dude. The call came out. It said he was drunk and trying to start fights with people, so I'm wondering if somebody okay. took him up on the fight and beat him up before he even went back in there. You're with these guys, all right? Yeah, right. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a superficial abrasion with no loss of consciousness. Ow! He's good. Do not touch my face like that, dude. Do not, I, if, if I was free, dude, he's with that. get off, dude, my face, right. dude. You right. touch me like that, dude, you're a Thanks, dude. gentlemen. Appreciate it. You don't touch me like that, dude. That hurt. All right, Jeremy. That uh, hurt. Stand up for me. Let's have a seat in this police car, okay? All right. Ow. This is like, Need the help? handcuffs is like way tight in the back. Okay. It's hard to get my back, my this foot. Well, it's because your back. jacket's around them. My, is partner, that why? my partner adjusted them. They're fine. I saw it. You scoot, you just just, just scoot, scoot your backside back that way a little bit more. Okay. There you go. Yeah, your, we got it. Pull your other leg in. So what am I being arrested? Right now you're being arrested for obstructing a police officer, okay? Uh, what did I do to a police officer? Well, I was trying to conduct my investigation and we ended up having to go hands-on with you. What were you doing in there that made him punch you in the face? Uh, I, w I went in there to ask for a camera viewing and everything. 
And they wouldn't give it to me. They wouldn't give it to you? Nope. Who were you screaming about your cell phone? Uh, Did they take it or something? No, not. You see, what happened is I uh, went in there to get my cell phone. The cell phone was there, dude. I went in there, asked him for videotaping of my cell phone. Mm hmm. And see who grabbed my cell phone. Okay. And that's what I went in there for. That's why you went in there? Yeah. Yeah, how many times did you go back in there? I, I don't know when there was. They asked you to leave, didn't they? Uh, no. No? no. Never even once. I don't believe you, Jeremy. I know. Pick up to the counter and asked to see the videotape me to see who took my cell phone. And all I wanted was just to talk to you, but... You can't ask more than that. You kind of got a little crazy on us. Uh, okay. I'm in the handcuffs right now, dude. I'm in a seatbelt, dude. You shouldn't talk about anything else. All right. You have a good night, Jeremy. Thank you. He's causing disturbances. He's drunk. So tonight he gets to go to jail for resisting a police officer, obstructing. We're good to go. Deputy Sheriff with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office for three years now. I have a somewhat unique situation at home where my wife's a dispatcher here for the Sheriff's Office also. So when I come home, I get to talk to her about what I've been through and she understands some of the calls. She understands what I go through because she deals with some of the same people taking their calls. We saw a car back here parked halfway on the road, half off the road with a gentleman hanging out the driver's side door. So we're gonna turn around Make sure he's okay, see what's going on. What are you doing? How's it going? What's up? What happened? My thing fell out when I was driving. What thing? My little driving thing right here. Huh? This thing right here, I was fixing my alarm. Right here in the middle of the street? I just pulled over real quick. Okay, you live around here? No. Just no? Just a friend out real quick. Where at? Call. Yeah, you got an ID on your man real quick? Yeah, on a one second. All right. Is, is this your car? No, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend's car? Just quit for a minute. Give me your ID so I can get you out of here. You want to get out of here, right? Yeah. All right, then just put it down for a minute and give me your ID. My girl's going to kill me, man. All right, it's just a little thing. Here you go. Have a seat. Give me the side. There you go. I'm sorry about that. I know I was supposed to. I couldn't pull over to the side real quick. No, it's, it's just where you are, man. Do you know where you are? No? This area right here? This area right here is known, right, for a lot of drug activity. All right? Robberies, shootings, and there's just a car pulled over on the side of the road. Oh, no, you know what, you know what I mean? You're trying to pull off the side of the road, trying to fix a, a latch? I mean, come on. I mean, really? I'm asking you if you have anything to be guys worried about. And right, right now you're making me nervous. You have anything on you? No, sir. No, you have any weapons? Put, put your, put your wallet down for me, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. Come over here. Put your hand on your back. Now, yeah, just relax. Oh man. Put your feet. Put your feet. I mean, if you guys, if you hold it, let me know. I got a little weed, you know. I smoke a little trees. Where's it? At? This part. No, right no, no, no. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Just relax. All right. You're not under arrest right now. Okay. okay. Just relax. All right. Like I said, you're not under arrest for 15 years, all right? I'm putting you in handcuffs, all right? How, how much weed is it? A uh, little bag I just got from my homeboy. A little bag of what? From where? A uh, little bag I just got from my homeboy. All right, face up. Right here? Yeah, for sure. Ooh. What's this for? I was fixing something at my girlfriend's house. Is it a dime bag, a nick bag, what? Nah, it's a little more than How much you pay for that? Twenty five bucks. Twenty five dollars? Okay. But just some money and stuff? Yeah. Alright. Come over here, man. Come on. Put them in your car. Have a seat, bro. Watch your head. Y'all in? Yeah. Watch your toes. Right now, I'm gonna get a uh, marijuana test kit to test this. He's, got, he's getting it right. Is now. He? Can you uh, toss the car? 
He was mainly in the um, driver's side here, playing with the uh, circuit breaker box. So check in there real good. I guess this is what he was messing with when, when he first pulled up. What do you got? 38. I'm fuse box. Okay. That's what he was. That's what he was uh, going for the whole time. Kept stalling. Lucky for me, he didn't pull it out. Omar, yes, you want to tell me anything about anything in that car? About anything in that car that that's in there? Like I told you, just like when you came to the car, so I just picked up the car and I'm about to pick somebody up. All right, I'll tell you what. You have the right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Do you understand that? Yes. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. Do you understand that? Yes. All right, and any statement can against you in a court of law. Do you understand that? Yes. All right, now, having your rights in mind now, you sure, and you're positive, you don't want to man up and tell me anything about what was in that car. You say man up. Man up. What am I being arrested for? Okay. First, you're being arrested for possession of marijuana, okay? And at this point, you're being arrested for possession of a stolen firearm. Okay, in that, listen to me, you, you, you want to play stupid, that's fine. In the box, right where you were, in the circuit box that you were trying to put the cover back on, right where I made contact with you, was a stolen firearm right there. All right, hang on here for me. What else you got? Ecstasy. Ecstasy? No. Further search of the, uh, of the vehicle. Where'd you find this? Right up in front of the uh, shifter. Was it right in his, uh, in his immediate reach? Yeah, it was at airplane view, sitting right on top. Right in front of the shifter in his immediate reach. Um, see a baggie of uh, ecstasy pills. Took about what? Four, eight of them. I right, Omar. I right, look, man, we're finding out ecstasy in the car. Right there, right in plain view. I mean, so listen, you know, you say it's your girlfriend's car, right? Yes, sir. So are you saying that maybe the gun and X belong to your girlfriend? I'm not saying anything. All I'm saying is that. That don't belong to me. The, the weed was in my pocket. That right. belongs to me. Okay. If I seen you right there, okay. I could have easily ran. I, I figured, man, I, I got some trees. I'm fixing the car. You know what I'm saying? I didn't take it more past that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So the XC that was in your immediate, right in your area, right there on the shifter, where it's plain as day, there. No clue, sir. Okay. And just like the gun that was right there, okay, where we found it, you didn't know it was there. They don't buy it. You haven't have the, uh, Possession of marijuana, possession of um, XC pills, um, and then the possession of a stolen firearm, and uh, felon in possession of a firearm. Three good felonies and a misdemeanor. I work up here in District 3, and it's nice being able to leave the house and have a supportive wife and kids, and uh, use my parenting experiences with other kids I have to deal with, or, or even adults. Uh, you know, just helping, helping people out. Keeps me going throughout the night. And then switch over, got that 38 to deal with. Okay. I'm gonna go to a domestic violence call, possibly, or welfare check. Something about elderly mothers having problems with their son, so let's see what we got when we get up here. Jeez. What's going on? What happened? All right. We load, all right, we load out a bunch of ducks. Who called the cops? Who called the cops? Who did? <laughs> did you? What's going on? Are they just arguing out here, or are they? No, they no, it was in here. They were, they were inside. They, um, no, my my son was inside the house, and he's started uh, fighting my fiancés. The bedroom. Who, who's your Who's your son? The big one with the black eye. Oh, that's your son. Doesn't like the idea of me marrying Jerry. Okay. Now we're going back to 1943 when I first met Jerry. I met him in England, World oh. War Two. Nice. Congratulations. So, so he's coming in here, just getting very belligerent. Yeah. And, and then. And the more he he says, I don't need this. I don't need this. Everybody's a. Son of a bitch, you know, and uh, okay. his language was way out. 
Right. I mean, uh, out of line, right? Uh, he couldn't talk just plain English. Right. Yeah, swear repeatedly. I went today and got a small bottle of brandy. Oh, yeah? And he got into it. Uh oh, okay. And he's not used to strung alcohol. Oh, yeah? But if it's available, he's going to drink it. You'll drink anything as long as it's available. Yeah. And, then, uh, and so were you in the bedroom, Jerry? Yeah. And then I got up, and uh, of course, I use a walker. Right. Which is in there, and uh, I had the walker in front of me as a barrier, I guess, more than anything else. Right, okay. <laughs> and uh, he grabbed that and... He picked up your, your walker? Walker. And threw it? Well, he didn't throw it, but he, you know, jammed it uh, at me. Jammed at you? Okay. And I, okay. Well, anyway, I fell down, and then he started throwing things. He was just wild. I mean, there was just no no talking to him at all. Yeah. It makes sense. How old is Stephen? He, he gets violent. Stephen, let me see. I always have to figure this out. He's um, 52. And how old are you, sir? 84. 84, all right. So, so, I mean, he pushed you with his hands, correct? Right. Okay. Did did he did he get his hands around your neck at any point in time, or he just he, well, he who knows? you tried to defend yourself and it ended up he That's he right. he pushed I was you. Trying to defend myself. Right. And then you hit you hit your elbow. Because Can I... I was uh, I was ready to dig for his eyes. No. Uh, because uh, I was in the paratroopers. Oh yeah. So you know how to and, you know how to handle uh, business. We fought when we were in a fight. We fought to kill. Right. And I don't want to get in that situation. No, definitely not. Definitely not. Let me see your elbow. Do you need uh what and you hit it on the dresser that that's in I there? I have no know? idea. I really you know really it happens so yeah. fast. Yeah. I, Jerry has a I, she's the one I quite I can't even see it. One big happy family. Well, I'll tell you something. My mother always used to say to me, I'm one of nine children. She said, I don't care, you can have twenty kids, but you won't find two alike. <laughs> okay. We'll take them to jail tonight. Hey, Stephen, can you stand up for me? Yes, sir. Watch your action. Put your hands behind your back, all right? What's this for? We'll explain in one second, all right? Shut down the girl stay. Hey, ma'am, just stay right there for me, all right? Let her go. She didn't see nothing. Hmm? Just oh, no. what in the world are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, man. One, two, three. Stand up. What are you doing? But unfortunately, you decided to push the uh, gentleman inside. Um, Just stay right there at the end of the driveway, okay? What the hell are you guys arrest me for? You live here, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And who, who's the old gentleman that's in, in the house? That's uh, somebody that's, that's visiting us. Visiting? This house. How old is he? He's 65 or old. Okay. So are you supposed to be touching somebody that... I have not touched him. No? So how do you get, how do you get fall to the ground? What are you talking about? How did, how did he fall to the ground? I don't know what you're talking no? about. How much have you been drinking? I probably had uh, a beer. One? No, I'd say a couple <laughs> beers. A couple? All right. You're going to do whatever you're going to do. But I'm going to have to put them in your car. I was sitting there with Judy, and it don't matter. You go ahead and do whatever you want. You got to double lock his cuffs here in a second. What are you, what are you rusty for? For battery on a Somebody over 65. 65. How in the hell can you do this? How now can you do this? Come have a seat. Hey, hey. Steven, hey. what's your last name? Steven. You know what I want you to do, Steve, right now is I want you to tell me in, about what happened tonight. Hey. I want you to be honest, be honest with me. With you. Just try and take over my house. I've tried to live here for 35 years. So how do you bang up his his elbow there, Steve? I don't know what the you're talking about. Is that your story? You're going to stick with it? Damn right I am. Okay. I don't so know what you're talking okay. about. Steve, go ahead. Put your foot in the car, okay? Just sit in the car and not cause any problems, okay? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. 132 in Bush. I've got him.
Right now we're going to a uh, unoccupied suspicious vehicle. A resident's calling saying that uh, she thinks that someone's abandoned a possibly stolen vehicle behind her apartment complex. This alley is uh, kind of a dumping ground for stolen vehicles, so we're going to go back there and see if we can uh, locate it and uh, check to see if it's stolen. We're looking for a, uh, a blue-green Mustang. It should be somewhere in this alley here from what we're, uh, from what we're hearing. All right, looks like we found it. Control 3 thing in 14. Uh, located the vehicle. Looks unoccupied. Well, it doesn't look like there's anybody in it right now, so uh, we're probably just going to get out and make sure it's not stolen, and if it is, take a report. Hey, turn off the car right now! Please, turn off the car! Control 3 thing in 14, code red. Control 3 thing in 14. Uh, the guy almost uh, ran me over trying to get away. Trouble? Plate's gonna be 068. Need a 14 control, you have an advisor that's the Need a 14 copy of the bond. Control, through the 14. The vehicle's gonna be a green Mustang, occupied one time by an HMA. Uh, looks like he's 20s, wearing a black shirt. We're now eastbound on Twain, passing Royal Crest. Eastbound, Twain, passing Royal Crest, copy, link to 13, copy. And control 3, thinking 14. Can you tell me if that comes back 411 or not? Awesome. Never want to see a pursuit. Lincoln 14, control, you have an advisor about a pursuit. Control 3, thinking 14. Uh, at this time, possibly an uh, attempted battery with a deadly weapon. I was uh, opening the vehicle door, and uh, he was hiding from me. He turned it on real quick and threw it in reverse and uh, almost cut me between two vehicles. His hood just opened. We're now eastbound on. Spencer passing Twain. His hood just open. He can't see where he's going. I mean, he's on Twain. Now passing Ottawa. Uh, still on uh, Spencer. Are you eastbound or northbound? Should be northbound, ma'am. Northbound Spencer passing Cherokee. Northbound Spencer, copy. His, uh, his hood is still flipped up in front of his windshield. Uh, he's probably just driving looking out the window right now. So he's kind of veering around side to side. Lincoln, party copy. Is there a unit close? Now going westbound Desert Inn. Street westbound Desert Inn. Lincoln 14 copy westbound DI. 242, we're right behind that unit. Case 242. He's, uh, he's staying in the number three lane here. Looks like he's trying to stick next to uh, the shoulder. That's affirmative. Now approaching Oneida. Still on Desert Inn. Copy that, right, Southeast. Copy. A unit behind me, he's making a U turn. He just 401, he's spinning out. Link 14, copy. Make sure he's still out there right now! Get out of here! He made a U turn when he was approaching Oneida, he's gone now. Control 14, slow units down, we're taking him into custody now. I'm sorry! My heart! My heart! My heart! I'm sorry! No! Stop resisting! Relax! Tell me, Stop resisting. Relax. Relax! Listen to me, we're gonna explain everything to you in a minute, okay? Wait, wait, wait. No! Okay, okay, so okay. 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 Alright, let's get him up, get him in a cage car. Go. Come on! Go. Hey, Keller, which one's yours? Oh, it's back here. Alright. Get in the car, get medical on their way. Is it double locked? Stay, wait. It's double locked. Hey, we need you to stand up, Taking okay? All right, have a seat. Control, turning at 14. For someone having driven the hood covering his windshield and then in a two cars, there's surprisingly little damage. I, I can't tell you how glad I am that, that you guys are fine. There's a kid in your car and everything, and you know that's uh, that's really all that matters, right? So we'll try and get you on your way in a minute, okay? Thank you. Hi, Ricky. How you feeling? Pretty good. You all right? Yeah, I'm feeling better. What were you thinking when uh, when you first saw us? We walked up. You well, stared right at me, up. and you, you looked a little scared. What were you thinking? 
I don't remember that part, sir. I'm not lying to you. Okay, are you saying you didn't know the vehicle was stolen? No, I didn't know the vehicle was stolen, sir. How could you not I don't know? even remember being in the vehicle. The ignition is torn open and you have priors for stealing vehicles. Yeah, it's correct. I just don't... Do you think a, a reasonable person would believe that you didn't know it was stolen? I didn't know it was I've never stolen a car in my life. I take one look at that, I know it's stolen. The ignition's ripped apart. You need a screwdriver to start it. I don't know what happened. They said I was fighting. Okay. That I was tripping or something like that. And I felt it's... They knocked... I don't know. I felt they gave me a drink and after that I felt it's the floor. Uh, I don't believe that, Ricky. Okay, right. sir. You can... And if you're scared, it's okay. You I can tell me. I apologize, sir. If you don't believe me, please forgive me. Okay. Right now you're being charged with possession of a stolen vehicle. Okay, felony evading. The other major thing, that the felony that stick with you today is the... Uh, uh, assault on a police officer with a deadly weapon, okay? When did I assault and, you? And, and the reason is, when you were backing up there and the door was no open, weapons? the car is a deadly weapon, Ricky. No, but I didn't have weapons. It's a 2,000 no pound deadly weapon, okay? And he almost ran me over and killed me. He almost squished me between two what? cars today. Remember that? What? Okay, that's... I apologize, sir. Okay, well, I'm I just, I'm just here to tell you what, what the that, charges sir. were, okay? I apologize. I don't remember anything like that, sir. I don't even... I never even seen you anywhere. All right, Ricky, I think I that's enough for now. Sure. All right, I'll talk sure. to you again later. It's kind of sad when for a property crime, stealing a car, you're willing to hurt or kill someone just to get away. I like riding a two-man unit. You know, that helps out a lot because I don't, I don't have to worry about calling for another unit. And uh, working with Officer Dobbs, you know, we work pretty good together. We hang out off-duty. And uh, we both were in the Marine Corps, so we kind of got the same mentality on uh, policing. We're en route to back of one of our units who has a 211 suspect, basically an armed robbery suspect from this morning, and we have the car stopped up ahead. Ma'am, he's a possible named suspect in the uh, first match. Reference, yes, suspect of the DMA 510 wants to see left and right a white shirt and dark shorts. Data 5, data versus 5 and 8. That's him right there. Get out of the car, man. Keep your hands up in the air. Face away from me. Turn around. Okay, back up. Walk backwards. I'm sending him to you. Stop. Go to your right. Side step to your right. Side step to your right. Keep looking forward. Keep going. I got cuffs, Sergeant. Keep going. Stop. Start walking backwards tomorrow, my voice. Keep walking backwards. Stop. Put your hands on top of your head. And lace your fingers. Spread your feet. Do you have anything on the end of the cell phone? No. Walk over here. How much money do you have on you right now? Should be uh, close to 200. Close to 200? Yes. Okay. Get in the car. You don't have any gut? No, I don't. Okay. All right, Cynthia, we already know. That. All right, what? we we got the witness in, on their way here it to do an infield lineup. All right. So right now, right now you can tell us, say what happened, let us know beforehand. You know, I don't know if you were just. Involved in what? You know what? Don't play stupid right now. I don't know what. You ain't told me what. You just saying you know I was involved in what? Okay, so you weren't involved in any kind of theft earlier today? Some purse snatching? No, I wasn't. No. So you you don't know anything about a theft earlier today? No. You don't want to talk about your? Is that your boyfriend with you? That's my fiance. That's your fiance. You don't know if he was involved in anything earlier today? We was together today. All right. Stick to that story. Let's go ahead and talk to the male subject and see if we can get him to talk. Okay. Sir, what's your first name? Tyrone. How old are you, Tyrone? I'm 19. 19. Okay. Why she saying you took the money? What? I didn't take no money. I don't even know what y'all was talking about. She told us that we didn't stop immediately at the stop sign, which I was trying to see across both ways of the streets before okay. I exit up. I mean, we're not talking about the uh, stop sign violation anymore. We're talking about a robbery that happened earlier. A purse snatching. I don't know nothing about no robbery, sir. So it's all going to fall on you then, uh, on who snatched the lady's purse? I didn't snatch the lady's purse. Well, right now your girl's saying that you did it, so right now is your time to talk. We'll, just, we'll charge you with it. That's not a problem. I mean, it's, it's just paper for us. You're the one that's going to go to jail for it, not us. I didn't snatch nobody's purse. I don't have nothing else to say. Okay. All right, you can go to jail for it. Have a nice day. Male driver doesn't have a driver's license anyway, so we're going to tow it for 30 days. And then we'll just collect the evidence that way. All right, then we'll go back to the station. We'll get the eyewitness. 
and uh, see the still pictures and everything, see if we can get them ID'd. Okay, yeah, they got the video at, at the station, so. All right, it should be an open and shut case. Just so you know, he wants to talk to me, so I'm going to take him back to my office and see what he has to say. Okay. And we'll go from there. Cool. All right, I'll let All you right. guys know what happened. He looked like he wanted to say something, but he didn't yeah, want to say something to. in front of her. He wants to. Right now, we're waiting for the victim to come in, and hopefully they can positively ID the still pictures and the photo lineups that we have. How you doing, ma'am? Come on. Right over here, ma'am. Take your time. Remember, ma'am, these, these may or may not be the suspects here. Anything familiar in the pictures, just go ahead and point it out. Either one, two, three, four, five, or six. Like two. Number two? Yeah. And number two? You said number two? All right. So um, we're going to go try to recover your purse so we can get that back to you. Okay. Okay. Right now, uh, uh, Detective Jones is interviewing the suspect uh, who did this purse snatching area. And uh, it looks like he's, he's starting to come out and tell the truth. I lost a total of $20. The person who got their purse snatched, I witnessed them picking up my $20. It wasn't out. Before I got a chance to get to her to tell her that that was my $20 that she picked up, she had drove off. Okay. So I proceeded in following her. And when she stopped, I got out the car, uh, told the lady basically that you picked up my money. She proceeded and keep on going. Okay. And that's when I took the purse. All right. I regret taking the purse, but it's hard for me to come, come uh, money to come by me being that I can't find a job. It's not like I ain't looking. I'm seriously been trying to look for a job and trying to do the right thing and all of that. He's saying that uh, he went into the bank. He and his girlfriend, they followed the victim. Yeah. So she did, uh, they she, saw her take money out. Out of the bank, she did ask they you followed know. her uh, down the street, and that's when he, he snatched her, her yeah, purse and took the money out. And uh, now he's telling our detective that he bought some clothes and he was going to give his girlfriend some money for the rent. So, yeah, he's also saying that the female subject that we got is uh, also the driver of the vehicle when this all happened. Booking her as an accessory to robbery, okay? Because that's what you did. You robbed her, and because of the amount of money that was in the purse, it's also grand theft. Because the two of you were together and she drove you away from the scene of a crime, you guys went together. That's also conspiracy. And because of the victim's age, that's also elder abuse. That's four felonies right there. Ma'am, is this your purse? Mm -hmm. One of our officers located it. strange hanging all off of it. Yeah. yeah. One of our officers located it exactly where the guy, the suspect, told us it was. Mm -hmm. So uh, he said it was some of your bills and some other credit cards and yeah, stuff in there, so the you can just identify that stuff for us. Okay, this is my wallet. Oh, this is my makeup kit. At least it looks like it all worked out for you. You got your purse yeah. back. We got the okay. suspects in custody and mm -hmm. they're going to go to jail for it. I got into law enforcement because I, I really dislike crooks and thieves. It was a second career choice for me. Uh, I kind of started a little older than most people do. But it, it had always been an interest of mine, and I think that it was beneficial as far as the life experience goes. Um, I do believe that that was very helpful in dealing with people. Uh, apparently it's a 2002 hit-and-run non-injury traffic collision where a vehicle crashed into a tree and the male driver uh, fled the scene, uh, possibly related to an earlier call of a reckless driver in the area. Some guy just crashed into our yard over here. Uh huh. Right right the right street, over there. He's actually walking. over there right now. House. Is he? And Is he, he keeps back going down right there back now? To that house? Yeah, he went right back now. down there now. What's he wearing? He's in. wearing a blue jacket that says LA, LA you know, like the, the LA back. Dodgers. Big letters, LA. Okay. And he's a Mexican guy. He's got a shaved head, a bunch of tattoos. And I Who saw him get out of the car? Huh? Did any of you see him get out of the car? Yeah, I did. Okay. Stick around. I seen him crash. Who's the guy with the uh, L.A. jacket on that I just saw back here? That is my boyfriend. Hey, let me see your hands. Turn around. Fingers. 1932, I'll be out with the suspect. What was that? Excuse me, suspect. What? 
Suspect what? Yeah, you excuse me, suspect what? You just, what you mean, suspect? Did you crash your car down here? No, sir, I did not. I got eyewitnesses that did see you. I don't know what you're talking about. Well? Well, you show me those eyewitnesses in the right. court. Tensing up what? I don't know what you're talking about, I'm Tensing up what? Tensing up your hands. I don't know what you're talking about. My, 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 my arm is the same as always. You got ID on you, Anthony? Probation or parole? Huh? Two warrants. Yeah, one for coming in the in a traffic warrant. Uh-huh. And one for, um, uh, uh, L.A. County. For L.A. County? My knee's kind of hurting, sir. Why is your knee hurting? Uh, I, I heard it earlier today. Did you heard it when you crashed the car down here? No, sir. No? I'm a professional boxer. A professional boxer? Yes, sir. All right. Well, Baby, I'll be out, okay? I love you. All right. Evidently, they've been here drinking. He takes off in the car. He comes back on foot. He crashed the car. And as I'm looking through the door, I see him wearing the blue LA jacket. Go in there, snatch him up in the garage. So he's driving uh, at 20,002. And if these guys can place him behind the wheel, I'm going to do him for the uh, DUI as well. Okay. What are the warrants for? One was an FTA, I didn't catch the other one. And ours was an FTA. Okay, and the other one's at out LA somewhere? Lakewood. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to go down here, get these guys set up to ID him. Okay. Give me a shot. Okay. He's got some pretty substantial damage from hitting this tree. That's obviously what caused the airbags to go off. And uh, I would say it's not drivable any longer. Get him? Yeah. I saw the whole thing. He came down the street like six or seven times, flying. Okay. Directly after when he lost control, he was sideways and he came by and hit those rocks right in my driveway and came right through here and hit that tree. I just saw a big cloud of dust. Okay. So that's what I saw. And then you saw him climb out and of the car? And then I saw him climb directly out of the window. Okay. And stumble over here kind of and pull up his pants and then walk out across the street and walk down the street. Okay. I'm going to use you as a witness, and I'm also going to use you to positively identify him. Okay, Jason, go ahead and bring down. So what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have my partner stand him up. I'm going to put a spotlight in his face so he can't see who's identifying. Okay. Take a look at him. See if he's the guy who got out of the car that you saw. Okay. Okay? Mm hmm Is he hurt? Yeah, that's the guy. Yeah, that's him. That's him? You sure? Yeah. It's positive. You can go ahead and put him back in. Hey, Anthony. How you doing? Fine, sir. All right. I want to talk to you for a second, all right? You know you're under arrest, obviously, for uh, driving under the influence and then also the crash in the car. Sir. How much did you have to drink tonight? Uh, I'm going to tell you exactly what I had to drink. I had uh, one uh, vodka and um, I don't even know what type of juice it is. So some vodka and some kind of juice? Vodka and some kind of juice, and okay. I had a uh, 1 to 11. 1 to 11? Uh, 24 ounce. 24? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate you I being mean, honest no, with no, me. Nothing else more, nothing else less, sir. That's exactly what I had. I mean, me and my wife had, had a little argument, you know. I took off, next thing you know, I'm in the middle of that bush right there, you know. And, I don't even know what I was thinking. You know, I was walking down the street. I was. I remember feeling a little blacked out, a little. Is just, that from the from the accident or from the my, uh, from the alcohol? No. Did you smoke I mean, any bud today? Weed. Mm -hmm. I smoked weed, sir, but I didn't smoke none today. None today. No, I just had that drink. I remember having the crash, walking down the street right here. The next thing I remember, my knee killing me. And the next thing you know, I was just like, I was thinking, I was just like, what? What am I doing? And I was by the gate, and that's when I was just like, I All right. really didn't know nothing else. You know what I mean? Okay, Anthony, if you're going to be booked in at Victorville Jail for driving under the influence, you're going to be issued a citation and be released in about uh, anywhere from six to eight hours. Western side of our county, people have alligators in their neighborhoods, anything from deer on the side of the road to dealing with a uh, swimmer in distress or your everyday crime, but weather's great. Beautiful place to live. We're headed to assist uh, my corporal in serving a outstanding warrant on a subject. Uh, I believe it's for child support. It's 2.30. 
two down. What's the name on it? Pause. Knock, I'm gonna stand on the edge right here and I'll come right to you. How you doing? Ready. I need you to come out here. Hold on one second, let me get the box made. All right, put them up and you come back out here. All right. Yo. Ready, he's coming out back. He's out back. He's out back. He's out back. Get on the ground! I'm going to tase you! Right here. Back up. He's right here. Sheriff's on stop me. I'm gonna tase you. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get I'm not going anywhere. Now I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna tase you, man. Put your hands behind your back. I didn't do it. Do it now. I didn't do anything. Put your hands behind your back. Oh, put your hand I behind your back. Give me your hand. I can't, I can't do anything wrong. Just keep him right there, okay? Hey. Just relax. I didn't do it. That's all right, man. You got a warrant for your rest. Just relax. Hey. Oh, I do. All right, relax, okay? Yeah. All right? Yeah. I got, Stay there for a minute. We'll get I got a knife on my left hand pocket. All right, we'll get it out. It's a utility knife. Why'd you run, man? I'm scared. All right. I'm scared. You got a wallet here? There's a wallet in there. All right. And I think that's it. Okay. You can 1098. Hold it. Let me see. That's 10 for a clear channel. We're going to stand up. You understand me? Yes. Kick the hair court. Yeah, I, got, I got him. I don't want to. Ready, one. Yep. Two. All right. I'm yep. not going anywhere. Okay. All right. No worries. You need to comply. You weren't laying down. I was. No, you weren't. There's something in my right hand. There front is? Pocket, front pocket. Okay, I'll take care of it in just a second, all right? And in my left hand front pocket. I just lean against the car, okay? I'm going to check your pockets now, right? Yes, that one in there. All right, we're ready to go in. Here, hold on. Sorry for running. Oh, well, you're gonna catch a charge for it. You know, I told you how many times. I did. So you earned it, man. Have a seat. I didn't hear you say it. You heard me. You looked back at me when I said, "Stop, sheriff's office." You talked to me at the front door. You talked to this deputy at the front door. Don't sit here and feed us full of lies. Okay. Well, I had, I had to use the restroom. Was the restroom over here, two blocks away? No, it wasn't. How'd you cut your head? I have no idea. Okay. Never went to the ground. Okay. You understand when we came just to serve a misdemeanor warrant. Right. Okay. What it is is a writ of bodily attachment. It means you haven't been paying child support. That's right. all that was. Right. You go in there, they'd have given you a purge. You probably would have been able to sign yourself out of jail. But since you ran, and after me telling you several times to stop, announcing myself as a deputy sheriff, right. and you refusing to stop, that surrounds to charge you for resisting without. Do you understand that? Um, no, I don't. Actually, I didn't know about that. Uh, do you understand what I'm explaining to you now, though? With... Uh... Maybe keep, we're gonna repeat it. Okay. Said, uh, when you when you run from the police, right, and they tell you to stop, right, and you fail to follow a lawful order, right, 
that's resisting without violence. Do you understand what I just said yes. to you? Okay. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Yeah, I apologize for having you guys run. And uh, I didn't mean, I didn't, like I said, I didn't know up until we were getting right across here that you guys were the cops. And I was telling him, a uh, buddy of mine just got jumped at that house that we were at the okay. other day. And you know, I, this, I would just... Well, he was up. looking in in full uniform. I'm sure your buddy didn't get jumped by the police. No, he didn't get jumped by the police. But okay. that's the first thing I thought, that it was... That, I'm like, yeah, I'm not getting jumped. So you're by myself, and so I ran. And then I, when you and said you, something about the police, I noticed over here, so I slowed down. I was like, oh. Instead of the, you know, just the writ, now you have a charge of resisting without. And, you know, maybe next time you'll sit there and make sure it's the police before you run. Okay? Right. Yeah, I'm sorry for having you run. All right. Thank you very much for your time. I apologize. All right. Watch your knee. I'm going to close the door. He's going to get a resisting without charge and also the warrant that was out for his arrest. Instead of having one bond, he's going to have two. The best advice that I got, and it still runs true today, is no matter what happens in this job, as long as you go home safe to your family is the number one important thing to do. So safety is the, the best advice that I got, and to keep your head in the game. Uh, we're responding to a call here where the black male on a bicycle is trying to lure a 12-year-old uh, uh, girl um, away from her mom. explain to you what's going on okay in just okay, a minute give me one minute I'll be right back with you so you're walking down this way right mm -hmm. and he comes biking up alongside you mm -hmm. and then what does he say to you he says hey baby and so I just start <laughs> screaming for my friend okay and then where did he go from there did he continue following you or he just went that way, straight down to the so, so he was going the other way then yeah. okay she said he kept getting closer and stuff because she came in screaming. We just live right around the corner, right next to the church. And she came in screaming and just crying. And I didn't know what happened. And I was asking her and she goes, this guy kept following me. He wouldn't stop following me. And I and I was like, what guy? Automatically, I had to come and see because there's a lot of kids that are around here. So that's the reason I followed him. I don't know what he was trying to hit on or what he was trying to do, but that's why I called the cops. Okay. I see a lot of stuff that goes on around here. And right. somebody just just right over here just that rape not too long ago right yep is this the guy then that followed you the guy that we yeah. arrested in the back of the squad car okay is that the bike that we have over there is that his did you see it did he have that pack on him still and everything okay okay so just so i got it straight you're down portland avenue on this side so you're on the east side of the street and he's biking going northbound right mm -hmm. he, well he was coming this way then he turned around oh so then he turned around yeah. okay and then started going back the other way mm -hmm. okay and then he comes up and he says Hey, baby, to you? Okay. I mean, did he keep coming closer to you, or yeah. is he saying that? Oh, uh, yeah. And then once he started biking away, then you ran home to mom's? Okay. And did, did, he, did he follow you yeah. while you were running? Mm-hmm. But then once I got to the corner and started turning, he went straight. He did? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he came back this way again? Mm-hmm. Okay. What other stuff did he say to you? That's all. Just say, baby. 
Okay. Did he do any motions with his hands or anything? No. Nothing? I thought okay. he was asking your name. 